This conference will this conference will now be recorded. My directional hearing must be challenged. <laughs> that could be a mistake. Well, that's like the more the Mormon tabernacle is the same way. That's some serious engineering. Yeah. We're going to go. July 12th, Council meeting is called to order. Would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and moment of silence? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Thank you. <clears throat> One little announcement before we get started here. We're going to switch numbers four and five on the agenda. So the uh, number five will be moved into the four slot and vice versa. So uh, the first item on the agenda will be consider approval of the consent agenda items, approved minutes from June 28th meeting, and statement of the bills paid in amount of $341,604.67. Um, I move to approve the items on the consent agenda, just adjusting the minutes. I'd talked to Zach about this before, including my comments at the end. Second. Two seconds. Okay, Garrett. It has been moved and second to approve the consent agenda <coughs> with the uh, changes that were mentioned by Councilman Kahar. Would the clerk please call roll? Kahar? Yes. Malak? Yes. Shriver? Yes. Stites? Yes. Adams? Yes. The next item on the agenda will be, can, will be request or comments from the public. Come to the podium, state your name and address, and you have three minutes. Hi, I'm Connie Henry. I live at 1123 South 102nd Terrace. Dear Mayor and City Council, I was deeply offended by the comments I heard voiced at the last City Council meeting regarding street repair. It is unacceptable to hear 102nd Street had its chance and they killed it. They'll just have to wait and too bad. I found these comments inappropriate and disrespectful both to the council member being addressed and to the residents themselves. I'm worried about the direction the city is taking. We are ready to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to create public safety buildings when our roads are not in drivable condition. We need to repair roads and next year's budget must include good sound financial planning for the road improvements. The SEAL project is a good thing, but 102nd and 98th Street, not in the Capitol project, and Swartz Road all need major repairs before they can be included in the SEAL project. As for the $650,000 approved for the planning stage of the public safety buildings, I am deeply concerned about the amount of debt this project could require. How much additional debt could this project burden the city with? What is the total debt for the city with this kind of new debt? How much interest will we end up paying from the general fund? Can the city support this much more debt? The city is working with the same company which Bonner Springs is using and Bonner Springs is experiencing high cost overruns. Can Edwardsville afford to go down that same path? Although some of you disagree, I firmly believe that roads come first than buildings. Thank you. Are there any others? There being none, we'll move on to the next item on the agenda, which consider resolution 2021-11, setting a date to conduct a public hearing regarding potentially dangerous and unfit property at 1951 South 98th Street. Mayor, members of the city council, thank you. Uh, 
So on this particular item, as you know, we've been through this process before. Uh, we have a building which we believe may be dangerous and unfit at 1951 South 98th Street. Uh, this basically came onto our radar uh, as we noticed that there were uh, commercial or uh, some construction activities occurring. There was no building permit for this particular property. Uh, we therefore investigated to determine if there was work going on. You see some of the pictures on your screen. Um, so our uh, code enforcement officer uh, asked that the building official also review the site. He did review the site. Uh, he has concerns about the structural integrity of the building. Uh, and so he has requested that the owner provide an engineer to review this structure and provide uh, you know, details on bringing this structure back into compliance to make it structurally sound. Uh, we have a building permit filed, but they haven't provided all of the information necessary yet. Uh, we have been in discussions with this particular owner uh, several times about providing that information. Uh, we've been advised that he will be providing it. We're just not sure when. So what we have here is calling for the public hearing that would occur in uh, August, I believe August the 23rd. Uh, if you pass this resolution, uh, like most of these, if the property owner uh, provides all the necessary documents, compliance, uh, we would come back on the 23rd. Uh, if it's moving forward, we would probably ask that the public hearing be delayed or have the public hearing, and then you have the option of determining how long they have to comply. So uh, these types of hearings don't require a property to be uh, torn down. I mean, if the property can be brought back into compliance with the building codes, then uh, you know the owner has the right to elect to do that, or they may decide it's not worth doing it and to have the building removed. So at this point, this resolution sets up that public hearing for August. It's a long process because of we have to submit it so many times to the paper. We have to have O&E reports, some of those types of things. So uh, again, you can see the pictures. I don't think there's uh, many doubts that there's some structural integrity issues and even the things you can't see where there's no floorboards, et cetera. So we just want to get this kind of on the radar. Uh, hopefully the property owner will come into compliance, obtain the building permit, and we won't need to move forward further from there. But as of tonight, that's where we're at and want to ensure that we continue to work on these buildings that are not compliant. And again, we've had uh, uh, other comments besides just you know coming through us, seeing that there was no building permit. We've had, have had others that have expressed concerns about this property and the condition of the home. Happy to answer any questions. Uh, I think also our public works director may have more details if we need them. I'm not sure what you have. You got the look like you had the file folder there. So again, tonight is just setting up the public hearing down the road for August the 23rd. What were they working on when we stopped their progress? Uh, well, they had poured a footing outside the front of the building. You kind of see that in the lower left corner. Um, the building has shifted and buckled. Uh, I don't believe one of the concerns was there's no floor joist support inside and some of the floor joists are missing. So their intent is to rehab the structure and it be, I believe, uh, habitated by maybe their son is their plan. So they do want, they have in, expressed interest to rebuild it. It's one of those that kind of got down the road and started doing things and maybe the work they did have, have made it more dangerous than less dangerous. So that's the reason why the building official at this point, we'd want a uh, engineer to stamp and say these improvements will support the structure. It, it, typically, we probably wouldn't require an engineer on just a remodel. We wouldn't require it on a remodel project. We've had a similar thing where somebody took took a center beam out of a house. You know, they wanted to make it all open, and they just took the center beam out and didn't you know didn't bother to get anybody's you know, kind of sign off and then wondered why why the roof starts sagging. So uh, it, it, it happens. So again, we, we do have communications with this property owner. Oftentimes we don't. So the positive is this is, you know, they're aware of it. They're aware of the meeting tonight. We told them that, you know, tonight's meeting 
wouldn't take any other wouldn't take any action other than setting up the public hearing. And again, if they come into compliance, if they you know submit everything they need for the building permit, we'll be back here in six weeks to say, hey, it's moving forward. Let's hold off and not do anything. If they you know don't show up with the required documents, then on that night you would have a public hearing to determine if you do in fact believe it's unsafe and unfit for human habitation. And that time you adopt a resolution saying you have X number of days to bring it in compliance. That again, that compliance could be to repair it and that, that could be to remove it. it kind of depends on each situation. And do they felt like that that time frame was something that they would they would have a decision made or know where they're yeah. going? That yes, that, they, they seem to understand, the you know, there, there's the building permit process and then the code enforcement process. They somewhat run parallel, but the way that these unsafe structures take on timing that they understood that uh, again, uh, you know, we had asked for some of this information as you know, it's been three or four weeks ago that we originally asked for this extra information and for my building, we put a stop work order on it four to six weeks ago. So it's it's been ongoing and, and again, it's trying to get a resolution. Again, the preferred is, quite honestly, the preferred is that they come in, they provide all the information, you're able to rehabilitate the structure, uh, make it a habitable structure, you know, individual lives in it and becomes a you know, Mike, tax they, paying property. Are they given a time frame when they're supposed to submit this information? As far as the building permits, uh, well, we we asked them to submit it within two weeks, and they didn't meet that deadline. I believe is what we they didn't. Asked for. They have not submitted what we've asked for in the time we asked for it. Are they hoping to do the work themselves? I believe they are doing some of this work themselves. I I don't do you have. Any This is not unlike what we've done at the, the house on 94th Street after it. Correct. Uh, Very similar. Had right. Do the same right. Thing over there. Get right. Over. We had two over there. We had what we call the fire. You know, we, we had two houses. Right. One burnt down to the point it was not the other one. They have been rehabilitating it and they did have to, you know, they again started doing some work without permits. The building official met with them on a number of times. Uh, we started the process and they, they have, you know, they work through the process to get it done. Again, the goal is is to you know have the house rehabilitated. You know, just from a process standpoint, we don't want to be sitting here another six weeks, another eight weeks, another twelve weeks, and, and we still have a structure that. Uh, and again, sometimes it's hard to see, but there's some bowing walls outward, and that you know it collapses, and you know somebody's there you know, running around a kid or people or whatever, and, and you know, it collapses or catches fire, the fire department has to go try to work in the house and we know it's unsafe. So again, it's kind of a starting of the process. Well, that's true too. Access to this property is a challenge as well, but that's not really the purpose of this. So basically the request is to adopt resolution 2021-11 uh, that uh, sets a hearing uh, for the is it August 23rd, 2021. Mayor, make a motion. We adopt resolution 2021-11 for a public hearing regarding the structure at 1951 South 98th Street. Second. It has been moved and seconded to adopt resolution 2021-11 regarding a public hearing on a property at 1951 South 98th Street for a an August 23rd, I'm gonna add that August 23rd hearing. So uh, would the clerk please call roll? Kahar? Yes. Mawat? Yes. Shriver? Yes. Stites? Yes. Adam? Yes. Okay, now 
I would entertain a motion to recess into executive session. Mayor, make a motion. We recess into the executive session pursuant to KSA 754319B2 for consultation with a legal counsel for matters which would be deemed privileged to the attorney client relationship for discussions related to a project in the city's industrial park and to return at. Do we want to just do 645? Returning at 645. Second. Been moved and second to go into executive session pursuant to KSA 754319B2. For consulting with legal counsel on matters which would be deemed privileged in an attorney client relationship and discussions related to project and cities industrial park. Would the clerk please call a roll? Kahar? Yes. Malott? Yes. Shriver? Yes. Stites? Yes. Adams? Yes.